What's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm about to be showing you the top five clone effects for y'all music videos. These clone effects will take your video to the next level. Before we get to this video, I just want to say thank y'all for all the support. If you could, please drop a like or comment. It don't hurt to drop a like, bro. Just, all you gotta do is this. Thank y'all. Let's appreciate it, man. Let's get right into this video. Alright, y'all. So here he is in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and get my one of my clips, right click and replace it to After Effects so we can do this first clone effect. Alright, y'all. Alright. Go ahead and jump it to After Effects as I can see. There go our clip. We're gonna double click our clip, y'all. Get that roto brush. And we're gonna start tracing him out, or however you wanna call it. I'm using a scroll wheel to zoom in, and then I'm hold I'm clicking the scroll wheel in to move around. If I like, how you doing that so quick? Now all I'm doing is just roto brush. And if you know roto brushing has got so much better over the years. If you are OG, if you're OG nine times out of ten, you're not watching this. But if you is, I appreciate you. But boom. Got that. There we go. I'm just roto brushing him out. If y'all don't know what that means, basically mean I'm just cropping him out. And I'm cropping him out to to the video. If you, maybe I took I, I I chose a hard one to do because he got a bush. All right. Now let's press play and see if it tracks him right. Play. It's messing up because of his bush, but I think I think it did a good job. So what we gonna do is just click this layer, Control D to duplicate, delete the bottom roto brush. Boom. Duplicate the top one. So we do that. Now we're gonna grab a transform. All right, we're gonna grab a transform. Throw that transform on there. Now is where the good part coming. We can do anything you want. So let's do this effect right here. This is gonna be the first effect that we do. Uh clone effect we're gonna do. We're gonna hit keyframe position, scale. We're gonna press U to bring up the keyframe pattern. We're gonna go 10, 15 frames. And we're gonna move him to the right. Oh, hold on. Let it low, let it low, let it low, let it low. We're gonna move him to the right. You didn't need a keyframe scale, honestly, but we're gonna move him to the right. Boom. Now let's go back a couple frames and reset. We do that, so now he's gonna shoot out. Boom. But we can actually make this a little closer for him shooting out, like so. So when you start it, he'll shoot out. Boom. Then right here, this last keyframe will control C, control V. We copy and paste in that last keyframe. And then we go reset it. Boom. And then we will do the same thing. Copy these right here. Control C, control V. Go a couple frames. And then we're going to drag them to the left now. All right? Drag them to the left. Boom. Keep them like that. Take this keyframe. Control C, control V to paste. And go to the end. Reset. Now, now let me show you the difference. This is key. So this is how it looks, right? Boom, boom, right? Boom, boom. Now, if you want to spice this up, you have to do this. Select all of them, right click, easy ease, and then throw a motion blur. Now, look how much better it looks. You see the motion blur on there? Yeah, I see the motion blur. Let it play out. Wait, wait, wait. Look at the motion blur. You need the motion blur, y'all. That's the clone effect number one. All right, I got my other clip. Let's do clone effect number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and right double click on that. Get our brush, do the same thing. We're gonna rotoscope him out. Nice, nice, nice. And I, and I wanna tell y'all, when y'all shoot y'all videos to be able to rotoscope shit out easier, try to use a higher frame stop. I think that's what it's called. You know what I mean? Basically a higher, basically to blur out the background better to make it easier. Make it easier to do shit like this. See, like I'm set, he's separated or use a solid background if you see what I'm saying. So I press play, rotoscoped it pretty good. I wouldn't have to help, do no extra, but a little bit. Let me see, let me not be lazy and actually let's see where it mess up at right there a little bit on the phone. I think besides that, it should be good though. All right, once again, we're going to do this duplicate that, delete the background, bong, duplicate this. Now we have that guy behind him once again. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab that transform once again. Bang. We're going to keyframe the position. That's it for now. Go to the composition. We're going to go 10. We're going to go 15 frames. Swing them out to the right. You don't got to be exactly a certain amount of frames. You know, we'll swing him back to the left. Hold on. Take longer to do it this way. I don't know why. Maybe because I ain't got that much screen. To the left, we're gonna go right, do it again, and then we'll go to the end and reset. I'm gonna press U once again, copy, boom, not copy, 
select them all turn on motion blur now look we have this effect right but this is not the effect i just wanted to show you something this part of the effect so now we have this the back back and forth right to spice this up we're going to take this clip duplicate it right and drag these keyframes in between now now it's like a ghosting effect come on that's fire that's clone effect number two All right, y'all. I got my next clip, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Double click, put the rotoscope. We're gonna scope him out. Try our best because this bush blocking us up, y'all. Try to rotoscope out the best. Good. Boom. As long as you got a good rotoscope, After Effects to take over and pr pretty much do everything else for you. So that probably look good. Okay. We're gonna press the space bar. Let it play out, see if anything look fucked up. Look good, look good. Looking good, we looking good. Still looking good. Still looking good. Still looking good. Oh shit. It fucked up at the end, so we just gonna have to edit it a little bit right here. Edit that a little bit. There. Trying to make it look a little good. See, the camera went out of focus right here because I swung it, so that's why it's like, that's why that part a little fucked up. All right, so do the same thing. We're gonna duplicate, delete, the bottom roto brush later layer duplicate that we're gonna press uh drag on the transform so once you duplicate duplicate the top layer go to the middle middle layer and go ahead and click invert invert foreground once you click invert invert foreground you will just have this you'll have this so as you can see we just have the background not actual him so then what we'll do is we'll click generate fill. Make sure this says 10 surface. We're gonna generate fill this, okay? I'm gonna click generate fill. It's gonna take a while, not a while, probably like a minute or two. So once that's done, we're gonna be right back. Now there's so much shit you can do with this. Basically, we just made the subject look like the background. Fire. So much shit you could do with this, but let's just say, let's do something like, so now, Right, we got that. That's gonna be our top layer. But we go ahead and grab a transform. Damn, I can't spell. But we go ahead and grab a transform. We could do something so fire, like we could just move him out the way, like from the back. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on one sec. How would I do that? I don't even know how I do it. I think I would have to put him in front. Oh yeah, there it is. So we can move him around from the main subject, and I feel like that is a banger. So this is what we gonna do. Take him right here. We're going to keyframe his position. We're going to reset. Keyframe his position. Go to 20. I'm going to do double, duplicate this. Oh, damn. I messed up. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. So duplicate this layer. So we're going to have two of them. So from here, we're going to position. We're going to send him right here. On, on this one, do the same thing, but we're going to send him to the other side. And we're not going to do this for long. Just real setup, you know, like probably at the five mark. Keep them out there for a little bit. And then, <clears throat> like right here, we're going to take these two points. Do that. Come to the end and reset both of them. Now, once again, we're going to easy ease. Easy ease them. Turn on motion blur for both. Now, let's see how this turned out. That's fire. That's fire. That's so fucking fire. That's clone effect number three. <clears throat> Here we go with our fourth one. So we're going to do the same thing. Double clip. We're going to rotoscope him out. Hold on. We're going to rotoscope him out. Bro took off his shoes. He was not playing. Rotoscope him out. Best as we could. Kind of hard because of the grass and shit. Oh, so there we go. I'm just taking you through the process. I, should, I could skip this part, but I want to try to see like how I do everything. So once you get it perfect on the first frame, usually it'll just clean it up for you like everything else is fine all right that should be about good look at his face I'm... all right so let's play it and just see how it looks it looked pretty good to me it looked pretty good to me so i want to duplicate that delete the background layer duplicate that now we got this clip in the middle now we're going to go get some this displacement now, now first what we're going to do is get displacement yeah we can get displacement turbulence displacement let me show y'all what this did. now as y'all can see if I crank up the amount on this, see that? Crank up the amount, I can crank up the size. 
however you want it but i usually just do the display the, the, the amount so for that i'll just crank up the amount a little bit and just go towards the end this is a more subtle clone effect not nothing too crazy go towards the end and damn can you hurry up you see it's right there you see where it's roto brushing at you gotta wait for this but go towards the end fine and i'll probably just up it a little Turn on a motion blur for it press u get these keyframes these them these got keyframes too also so now as it plays you'll see his body like not melting but you know what i mean kind of give it that that effect a little wavy effect yeah it's, it's loading you know how that should be uh, nice the nice little clone effect now if you wanted to you could add some color to it throw some color on there yeah boom clone effect number four rotoscope wait hold on double click rotoscope there we go rotoscope on our subject once again you got to do this for all of the clones duh put a rotoscope out now for this clone it's kind of similar to the other ones but it's not so basically what we're going to do is we're going to have the clone fly around him you know how we did in the back we never we didn't do it in the front but we did in the back already i'm going to show how to make it fly around him so to go behind him then in front of him behind him in front of him we're going to go ahead and let's turn off this transform for now so if i press play this should be rotoscoped out oh, there we go there we go there we go there we go perfect perfect duplicate the layer delete the background duplicate the top layer so we got two rotos brush now we're going to make him go around himself like twice this is how we're going to do it we're going to grab transform put it on the second layer <clears throat> now keyframe position we're gonna go 10 frames right and come out damn i messed up his shirt fuck it we're gonna go 10 frames bring him out right we're gonna go another 10 frames and bring him back this way but you see how he's behind so what we're gonna do is control shift d we're gonna cut that layer we're gonna put that in front now see that right when we want him to cut Let's make sure that's the right point though. I know I gotta be a little early there. So let's actually undo that. We gotta go right before, boom. Bring him above like that. And where did it stop at? Right there. So like right here. Bring him over here, right? So now he just went behind. Like watch, we watch. See that? Let's delete. So now, Boom. I don't like how fast it is. Maybe because of this, gotta keep. Maybe if I bring this right here. Oh no, I think I needed that other key. That one. Let's try to bring them right here though. So yeah, boom. Boom. Now, same thing. We're about to do the same thing. So once you get here, so it's only about to cross back over. Control Shift D. I wanna take this clip and put it back under. Why? Because now we're about to send it back to the other side. Now what we'll do is, so now he should be behind him now. Perfect. You can send him back this way. Look like this. But instead of him, you see how I jump right over there? We don't want that. I think I got to throw C and then put that one up. Wait, how do I do that? Look, I'm learning as I go. but I, you, We could just reset him at the end, pretty much. So as you can see, he's going around. All we got to do is highlight all of these keyframes, right? Easy ease. Oh no, motion, motion blur for all of them. Now we got him going outside, in front, and back behind. <clears throat> Perfect. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. I really appreciate all y'all, man. If y'all want a part two, let me know.